So, a quick little tip today, and it's on something I get asked a lot, and it's, you know, how can we have all the kids in the class learning at this fast pace, you know, this increased pace, so all of them are getting something out of the lesson and progressing as you go along? Well, my top recommendation for this, my top tip, is a thing called multiple intelligences. And you might want to look this up and online and check a bit more out about it. But basically what it means is you know, people learn in different ways and people like learning in different ways. So whenever we're presenting some new material, make sure we always have vision. You get a TV, you plug your laptop into a TV because big screens like this, it looks awesome. It looks great. It gets their attention. That's one thing. Second one is sound. Get some good speakers or good speakers in your TV. Make sure you've got the right kinds of music and songs in the classroom. And remember, you know, some songs are designed to send kids to sleep. So be careful of those. Genki English songs are designed to wake kids up and go, yay! So that's why I use them a lot. Actions. Now, this is the main one. Make sure for, you know, if you notice when I'm teaching, or if you look at any TED Talk, people very often are using their hands, using their expressions, using their faces. And if we can incorporate that more in lessons, we can hit more of the kids. You know, when you were learning to ride a bike, you didn't get a book out and go, first of all, put the pedal there, blah, blah, blah. No, so you just got on the bike and you learnt it with muscle memory, your body learnt it. Same when you're driving, you see a red light, you don't go, ooh, red light, what do I do? It's like, bang, you're straight on the brake, your body does it naturally. So if we can incorporate gestures, I'm hungry, I'm tired, uh, you are, or I went for past tenses, or whatever it is, if we can include gestures and actions for as much of the lesson as we can, we're gonna hit a bigger proportion of the kids, and especially those kids who probably don't do too well on the more academic side of things, learning with this physical, moving, kinesthetic learning really helps those kids or adults as well, it's exactly the same for adults. You know, you look at, again, look at TED Talks, the ones with the animation, the movings, moving are the ones that have the biggest hits. And thought, always have thought. Don't just do repeat after me, put them. You know, trick the kids out when you're doing different things, you say, what's he doing? And what's he doing? But then ask them silly questions as well. Say, what's your name? Ooh, so it's a silly question, but it's just keeping them listening. And testing, games, activities, where they're using their brains and things like that. Again, all my lesson plans are on the Genki English website. But try and incorporate as much of this as you can in your class. Put your inhibitions outside and you're going to see some amazing results for every kid in your classroom. And remember, great education is a right of everyone, not just the ones who like books and reading. Catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.